Hello and welcome to the podcast, Every Moment is Sacred, where we interweave meditation and healing into everyday life. I am your host, Rain Elizabeth Stickney. Now, let us begin. Hey, thank you so much for being here. I feel so excited that I have made it through this month. November has been such a big month for me. Has it been a big month for you? How are you doing here in this holiday season as we near winter? I am so happy and proud that this show has been live for a year and you have been part of it. Even if you are listening for the very first time, you are part of the success of this show. We've been holding steady in the top 5% of podcasts globally. You all are listening These episodes are well-loved. I get messages all of the time. I hope in my second year of podcasting, I share more of the reviews with you so you know what others are enjoying and maybe you'll get interested in something that you haven't heard yet. I am completing my journey in thanking all of my guests today. It's a bonus episode. It's not a conversation. I don't have a guest with me right now. It is me and it is you. And I am so thrilled that I get to share with you who the guests have been. I've thanked many guests so far on recent episodes. And today I am thanking Pat Caldwell Myers. She was on episodes 35 and 37, which were titled Enchanting Stories. Pat's podcast is the paradox. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not the paradox. It is the adventure paradox. I am not used to saying that title because her podcast used to be called Horses, Mountains, Dogs, but she wrote a book. And her book is called The Adventure Paradox, and her podcast changed its name to match the book, The Adventure Paradox. I am also thinking Alicia Sutton. Her episode was number 36, and it is called The Simplicity of Breath. Alicia and I co-created a meditation And Alicia's podcast is titled You're Allowed. It is such a fun show of people who change careers, and Alicia does a great job with it. I also feel grateful for Darcy Hawkshurst, who was on episodes 39 and 41 of Every Moment is Sacred. Her episodes are called You can do this. And Darcy has a vibrant woman program that I recommend to all of you lovely ladies. I don't know if she works with men, but she does work with women. And you can find out about Darcy's offerings on her website, darcyhawkshurst.com. I am also thinking Emily Geyser. She was on episode 45 called Eudaimonia, and she has a super fun show called Euda What? And it's because who knows what eudaimonia is? Maybe you do. I do, but only because I learned about it from Emily. So eudaimonia is the name of the episode on my show, and Emily's podcast is called Euda What? Go find out more. I also feel grateful for Christina Summers. She was on episode 47 and her episode was titled, I am lovable. Christina Summers has a show called loving your life again. 
And when I hear the title of loving your life again, I think of living. And so I wanted to be sure to get that right. Loving your life again. Listen to Christina's show. I am also thinking Nikki Kurtner. Her episode is number 49, titled Healing Narcissism. Nikki does not have a podcast. She is not a podcaster, but she is a therapist, a psychotherapist, an expressive arts therapist. And she's one of my very dear friends. She's so amazing. Her website is express-explore-expand.com, express-explore-expand.com. Find out about what Nikki is up to. I feel grateful for Donna Domino. She was on episode 53, The Body Knows. And you can find out about what Donna is up to. She is a wonderful healer of the body through movement. And she is a dancer and she knows how to listen to the physical form. She also knows how to listen to the earth. She is a talented soul. Her website is livingbodyawareness.com. I feel grateful for Dania Anastasia. She was on episodes 56 and 57. Her episodes are titled Love as True Identity. Dania has a podcast called We Are the Medicine. So find out what she's up to. I feel very thankful for Jessie Krebs. She is a survival expert. She was once in the military. She currently teaches women outdoors skills. And Jessie was on three episodes, 63, 65, and 69. And her episodes are titled On the Path on the path with Jesse Krebs and her website is owlsskills.com. Owls with an S skills. So she teaches outdoorsy women survival skills. She's amazing. You have to check her out. She also was on Alone Season 9 and National Geographic's Migrations. So there are lots of ways to discover more about Jesse Krebs. I feel very grateful for Martha Alter Hines, who is on episode 72 titled Come Back to Love. You can find out about Martha on her website, livingtheonelight.com. She is a channel and a healer. She's written many books and she is an expert in astrology. She has divine wisdom running through her, and she's happy to share with all of you. She has a YouTube channel and tons of ways to connect and explore and learn with her. I feel grateful for Becky Ringler. She was one of my graduate school friends, and she wrote a book called Reeling Him In, She was on episode 75 by the same name, Reeling Him In with Becky Ringler. You can find out more about Becky on one of her three websites. I'm going to tell you one of them, but you can find out so much about her because she is an expert in the dating realm and the wedding realm and the manifestation realm. She is just pizzazzy and filled with light. Go to simplekonabeachweddings.com, simplekonabeachweddings.com. Find out all about Becky. I feel delighted and grateful for Jennifer Chambers, who was on episode 78, Emotional Courage with Jennifer Chambers. Jen has two podcasts, Mayhem Porium and the courage checklist. I feel grateful for my stepfather from childhood, Bodhi Starwater. 
He is a sound healer and a musician, and he distinguishes between the two in his episodes numbers 81 and 84, both called Sound Healing with Bodhi Starwater. Bodhi has many offerings, including a documentary that you can find on him on YouTube. It's a short film documentary, and it's done so well. It is an exquisite piece of work and really describes him exquisitely. (laughs) You can find out about Bodhi on his website, soundscapeoasis.com. I feel very grateful for Athena Thiel. She was on episode 87 called Alignment and Abundance with Athena Thiel. And she has some free meditations that she's offering to you. Go to abundancewithathena.com slash free meditations. We have a super spicy conversation about abundance. So I hope if you have not listened to it, you listen in. And if you have, share it with a friend. And the guest that I shared with all of you this week, who I am grateful for and delighted by is Carolee Garrison. Her episode is number 91 called All Lit Up. And she has a podcast titled Seeking Sunshine, Do What Lights You Up. Now she added that tagline recently because her podcast has been live for quite a while and it's gone through a transformation already. So Seeking Sunshine is how it used to be known. And now Carolee's podcast is Seeking Sunshine, Do What Lights You Up. Those are all of my guests. Thank you for being here, guests. Thank you for listening to who the guests have been and what they're offering in the world. Check them all out. Now, I wanted to share something that I learned in one year of podcasting. This is a very important lesson, dear to my heart. I hope it helps at least one of you, if not more. I imagine we are all familiar with moments when there is that voice inside that says, I can't, I can't do this. I can't possibly And maybe even there's a list of excuses because the dishes aren't done, because the bills aren't paid, because I need to go get my son from school because of this and that, because something, something, because, because, because there's lots of becauses always for at least many of us, if not all of us. So if you've ever heard that voice inside that says, I can't do this. You're probably also familiar with the cognitive skill of saying to yourself, yes, I can do this. I can do this. Now that is a wonderful step. And that's where I started podcasting was being able to make that one step, which is very meaningful and very helpful. That is not the end of the journey. I'm going to give you one more step. And perhaps there's something after this. Maybe you know what it is and you can let me know. So when there's a voice that says, I can't, and you or I choose to say instead, I can. How about this? I am. I am doing this. I am doing this. I am doing this. And that is what I learned in podcasting, (laughs) how to say, I am doing this and move away from the can and can'ts. There's a bit of a trap there because they're in opposition. Let's go with what is happening. I am doing this. Here I am. I am podcasting. I'm making an audio file. I'm sharing it with you. I am doing this. Try it on. See if it helps you in your life and in your endeavors. It is a very exciting announcement to share that by the end of the year, Every Moment is Sacred will have 100 episodes. 
This episode is number 93. The new schedule of Every Moment is Sacred is going to be Tuesdays in December sharing meditation journeys. These are solo guided meditations that I have recorded through still water meditation groups that I am sharing with you openly and freely. I will also share some bonus episodes because there are some wonderful holidays in December that I like to celebrate. So by December 31st, we will have 100 episodes. Is that incredible or what? I feel all warm and like a helium balloon when I think of that. So come January, we will begin with episode 101, 101, and the schedule will be Tuesdays meditation, Thursdays conversations. And it is a joy to let you know that these conversations are currently being recorded. So there is a guarantee they will be shared with you. Some wonderful guests are coming on and there will also be bonus episodes. So in January, Every Moment is Sacred will be twice a week. Some bonus episodes scattered here and there. In the bonus episodes, I will share poetry and whatever else is feeling delightful in the moment. Somewhere in these bonus episodes, I will be sharing a very special story that my partner Todd created for our son Storm, which is something that I wanted to do last Christmas that didn't work out. But now I have the story and it's just about making an episode out of it. So that will be super fun to share with you. Thank you for bearing with me through this kind of crazy November. And this being November 30th, I will see you in December and just send you off in a good way. Allow me to share with you a poem. I wanted to find one that was a snow poem because here in Vermont, We are in our snowy season, and it is the beginning of our snowy season, so it snows on and off, and later in the season, there likely will be banks of snow. There are not banks of snow right now. I mean, not where I am. Perhaps in other parts of Vermont, I saw Killington was quite snowy, and I imagine Stowe is in some other places, but I live in Charlotte, so snow is here. More snow is likely coming. And this is a poem by my mother, Leslie Lane Russell, who never came to Vermont as far as I know, but she knew the California snow. Snow Song How lovely the snow, so deep, so white, so smoothing the mountains, so singing the night, so turning the sky to silver to shine. So singing the mountains, lake, fir, and pine. I will see you again the first Tuesday of December. And I invite you to sign up for the weekly email list that will begin to go out the very same day of the next episode. You sign up for the email list either by going to the show notes and clicking on the link or email me, healing at rainelizabeth.org. Just write in the subject line, podcast email list, and I'll know what to do. You can write me a note if you want to. I always respond. The weekly email list is for this show. It's to let you know what episodes are coming up, what guests are coming up, how you might be involved. I love gathering listener questions and your questions help me to ask the super fun questions to the guests because sometimes what you want to know is not what I'm thinking of. And I want to know what you want to know so I can get you the information or unfold a conversation that is just right for you. 
sign up for the email list. Come back in December. I will see you soon. Thank you so much for listening. It has been a great joy to have your presence here in this podcast. I welcome you to celebrate the joy and wisdom in your life exactly as it is. And I welcome you to feel loved, fully loved, exactly as you are. www.reinelizabeth.org